Once we'd arrived at the title uh, World on Fire, you have to understand that the, the album artwork and the title didn't even, even begin to present itself until we were almost done mixing the record. So, um, you know, we decided on World on Fire and then I was like, that instantly came, brought to mind some sort of chaos for the album cover. And so I was looking at different artists to see if they had anything already painted in their re repertoire that really sort of represented what I was thinking. And I finally, you know, I'd been following Ron on Instagram and he's always got these really freaked out, great sort of psychotic ideas going on. And so I, I called him up and asked him if he had uh, something, you know, even more chaotic that he wanted to show me. And so he sent me probably like a half dozen pieces of work that he'd, he'd had. And one of them was called, there's two that I was interested in. One was called Cerebral Celebration, which is what ended up being the album cover. There was another one that was really good called uh, Road Story. But one was, in, you know, like sort of a red, you know, very flamey type deal. The other one was more a blue, gray, darker kind of deal. When you actually have the album, uh, the, the, the slash feature Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, World on Fire comes off and it's just the album cover and it's actually a full, like what everybody's been seeing is just the, the one half of it. So when you see it, it in close up, you can actually, there's so many things going on that you can sit there for literally an hour and f still find different things happening. It's very, very intense cover.